In the autumn of 2014, it arrives. The new sports car from Mercedes-AMG hits the market, the AMG GT. We can look forward to a high voltage arrival as the craft engine tuners of Mercedes fill the gap left by the SLS AMG. He's a bit smaller than the super sports car SLS AMG, but with 510 brake horsepower, not less impressive. Welcome to the world premiere of the new AMG GT. After the much talked about downsizing of the previous 6.2 litre naturally aspirated engine, the Porsche hunters of Mercedes have produced a new leaner 4 litre twin turbo that is only reminiscent in the V shape of its eight cylinders and the crisp muscular sound of its engine. Despite the high performance potential of the V8 turbo engine, it weighs a mere 209 kilograms on the scales. The numbers produced by the new setup are impressive and promise breathtaking performance for the future AMG GT. 375 kW and 510 bhp are figures to be proud of. Delivery of 650 Nm of highly refined torque produces an impressive stable thrust from 1750 to 4750 rpm. Only when you finally reach 7200 rpm does the feeling of unlimited power start to tail off. Without the intervention of the electronic braking system, 300 km per hour can be reached. We did the decision to step into the 4 litre because we have our 2 litre M133, which is a very successful engine in the A45, CLA, GLA45. Uh, what we use is technology, kind of the combustion chamber and the spray guiding, injection and everything. What we use is, now we use the same technology in that engine. And this was the reason for us to step down in displacement. And, you know, regulation all over the planet are are guiding us for the, for the target in future as well. Visually, the AMG GT puts out an impressive performance, especially with its powerful grille, reminiscent of the design icon Gullwing 300 SL, thanks to its distinctive Mercedes star. A gaping wide radiator mouth and LED eyes provide a pronounced I dominate look. An endless long hood stretches to a relatively compact passenger compartment behind, at the rear, a retractable spoiler for additional downforce ensures road grip. Overall, the AMG T is remarkably flat. We have a different layout. So we have a transaxle application, we have a dual clutch gearbox in the rear axle, we have a front mid-engine. It is a kind of a difference to all the others. One. We have a dry sump application, which is different to the competitors, competitors who uses, um, mostly of them, uses a transaxle. So the driving dynamics of the car is outstanding. We're happy with the lap times, what we achieve, and the everyday usability is there as well. After the SLS AMG comes the new GT, completely developed in-house by the Dynamic Mercedes subsidiary. The development work took two and a half years. During this time, 50 test drivers in 15 countries have never once been seen by the paparazzi meaning that until now, the exact shape of the new Schwaben racers has remained secret. Just to be on the safe side, specially designed camouflage has been used to protect the car from being seen in public too soon. It's quite impressive what AMG put on wheels with the new AMG GT, but to see what the car is capable of, you have to drive it in competition with other sports cars.